The shooting in Oregon is once again raising questions about campus safety at the University of Michigan. There's been plenty of debate and even a legal fight over open carry on campus. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is in Ann Arbor tonight with more on this story. My heart goes out to those students, to the families that didn't have the option to have a fighting chance. Months before the tragedy in Oregon, Joshua Wade began waging his legal fight with the University of Michigan over their ban of firearms on campus, a ban that restricts even those with concealed pistol licenses or CPLs to open carry or carry concealed on university property. Wade requested a rare exemption to the university's policy that is actually a local ordinance and thus a misdemeanor if a gun is brought anywhere on campus. Now, with a CPL under Michigan law, I should be able to carry concealed walking across campus. U of M's policy says that I can't carry concealed even though I have my CPL and even though it would be otherwise legal. So if I were carrying right now, we're here on U of M's campus. Right now I'm on the sidewalk. If I step onto this grass right here, does it make sense that all of a sudden I'd be a criminal? I think there'd be some small positives, but in general, it'd be like a huge risk to take. So I don't think that'd be a good step moving forward. I definitely do not believe that students would be safer if more guns were present. I feel like that would just lead to an increase in conflict rather than a decrease. We want students to be able to conceal carry on campus. And on Monday, a judge could decide whether to throw out Wade's lawsuit or allow it to move forward. It doesn't make sense to me that if I want to, you know, cut across this grass here, that I don't have a right to life. That I don't have a right to defend my life. It just, it really doesn't make sense. In Ann Arbor, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.